Hi booktube, Lynette here and in this video I'm going to tell you about the books that I plan to read in the month of December. I have a very small TBR this month, I am very much mood reading at the moment um, rather than uh, sticking to any set TBR but I definitely have a couple of books that I have to read so much as want to read. Um, the first two of those are the two books for the in-death read-along. I didn't um, do the in-death read-along in November, I just didn't get around to reading the book. Uh, some of the books that I was reading in November took me a little bit longer and my mood for reading was a little bit up and down, so I, I did just go with it. But the first of those two books is Judgment in Death and the second is Betrayal in Death. I've talked about these in all my previous um, TBRs for this year and all my previous wrap-ups for this year. Uh, this is a series of books set around Eve Dallas, who is a homicide detective with the New York Police and Security Department, set in um, the world of 2053, I think, or like starting around that period of time anyway, the, the, the early 2050s. Um, and she has to solve a series or um, a an individual murder and bring the killer to uh, justice. These two books will be no exception. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed the series so far, so I really do think that I'm probably going to enjoy these books this month as well. And they are quite quick reads, so I'll probably get through them very early on in the month. And the third book that I need to read in December is the Just One More Page book club pick, and that is The Christmas Tin by Roderick J. Robeson. This is a story about Jesse McLean, who thinks that the commercialism side of Christmas has affected his daughter, his young daughter, and the way she perceives the holiday season. And he decides to tell her a story that he was told um, in his youth. He met a woman who had a tin full of Christmas gifts, and there was a story behind and behind every single one and a meaning behind every single one. And that really brought home to him as a youth uh, exactly what Christmas was about. And he uses this as the example to, to change, try and change his daughter's mindset. I'm looking forward to this read. Um, I'm actually wanting to pick it up very quickly. And I probably will, um, as soon as I've done with the in-death books, then I probably will start on this one. Um, and hopefully retain all the information for the book club meeting at the right at the beginning of January. So those were the three books that I have to read this month, or not necessarily have to read, but really do want to read this month. Um, I have one more that I really want to read, and I'm probably not going to start it until late in the month. Um, and I'll show you, tell you why. It's been in all my TBR since May, um, but none of my wrap ups. And it is The Shadow Rising by Robert Jordan. Um, as you all know, I've started a reread of this series uh, last year and uh, I carried it on this year when lockdown started because I bought all the books in the series. Um, I did pick this one up in May and over the months I have gotten, that's actually all that's left of it. Um, but it's very dense. There is a lot of characters, there is a lot of information, there is a lot of world building. And it's not one that I find I can read during the week. And then at the weekends, I've usually got other books on the go or other things happening that I just don't really have time. But I have two weeks of annual leave over Christmas um, where I'm going to be sat around pretty much all day with not much else to do. Um, we have a couple of... Uh, we're, we're allowed to form bubbles here in the UK for Christmas. So I'm forming a bubble with my brother and his family. Uh, so I will be spending Christmas Day and Boxing Day with them. So there I won't be reading those days. But obviously all the other days I will be sitting around not doing very much because I can't really see anyone else over Christmas. So I'm going to attempt to have this one finished by midnight on New Year's Eve. Even if I've got to stay up till midnight on New Year's Eve, which is unheard of for me. I am not one who sees in the new year without having my arm twisted. So... Yes, so that's the other one that I really want to get to this month. I have some other books that I have an idea that I want to get to this month. They're kind of calling out to me. Um, if you're an avid reader, you, you'll understand what I mean by that. But 
yeah so I have two or three books that are kind of they've been I've wa been wanting to read them um for quite a while uh but I haven't just gotten around to picking them up so I'm hoping that I will be able to do that this month and the first one of those is Dragonhaven by Robin Hobb this is book two of the Rainwild Chronicles um which is the third series in her realm no fourth series in her realm of the elderlings um overarching series um this is following the dragons that have hatched in book one and they set out on a journey up the Rainwild river this is following them as they continue that journey and their dragon keepers uh, who have gone with them i've read this series before but i think i finished on this book um, I never actually completed the series but I own all 16 books in the realm of the Eldling series and I really want to get around to finishing them very very soon and I need to do that and get on with Dragon Haven. Um, this is kind of at the point where I stopped so and I'd hit a huge reading slump the last time I was trying to read this book. So I'm a I'm a little bit I want to pick it up but I'm a little bit apprehensive about picking it up because I I'm I'm a bit worried about going into that slump again even though I know that the slump at that time wasn't caused by the books I was reading it was more the mindset that I was in at that time um so yes yeah, so hopefully uh I know it's another big series with a lot of information to retain from previous series um that link into this uh so it will be a challenge to continue it along with um the robert jordan book but i'm gonna do my best and hopefully i'll have started this one if not finished it before the end of the year and another series that i've picked up this year which i've talked about in previous tbrs and wrap-ups is the series by hl dennis secret breakers uh this is book four in the series tower of the winds it's a uh, middle grade um so the nine to twelve year age group um, and it's a myth, series of mysteries that are being solved to try and crack uh, a, an ancient document which is unreadable. And it follows a group of kids who are trying to break this document. They are being helped by some adults, but they're also being um, tracked by a secret organisation who don't want the manuscript to ever be read. So this is book four. Um, there's been various, um, there's been three before it where they've solved, but they're still no closer to solving the riddle of the manuscript. And I'm looking forward to carrying on the series and hopefully finish this one again. Maybe I can start it this year. If not, it will very definitely be on the radar for early January. December is going to be the month of series continuations I think because another one that I want to continue and I had wanted to try and continue in November but didn't get around to was Narnia. I started rereading these I think a couple of years ago um, and I've just every so often been dipping my toe in the water but I really really want to read The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. This is my favourite book in the entire series um, it's the only adaptation that I haven't watched because I am afraid that they are going to ruin it for me. Um, but it's a very small book. They're all very small books. They're, again, they're the 9 to 12 year old age range. I loved these books when I was a child. And I just really want to get on and make more progress in the series. And I, I, I keep looking at this one and wanting to pick it up. So I think possibly, even if I don't get to anything else, because it's so short... I'm probably going to get to this one this month as well. And finally, a book that I've been thinking about since March, which I've talked about in previous months and said I'm going to read in previous months, but not get to, got to. Um, but I'm really being encouraged to now by the people who put this book on my radar in the first place. And that is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Uh, this is about a young girl who's been accused of uh, murder um, and what happens when two young men come to town as they've grown up um, who then fall in love with her and the fallout from all of that I'm really looking forward to reading it it's it's literary fiction so it is outside of my normal uh, reading scope um, I'm very much fantasy and romance this is neither um, but I'm looking forward to reading it like, like I've said in previous months I heard so much good about this um, back in March time 
um, that it really, really put it on my radar and I really, really wanted to read it then. Um, but I couldn't get a copy of it until about May, June, I think, um, when the bookshops reopened in the UK. So I'm going to hopefully, again, hopefully try and get to it this month. But it's certainly on my radar of the ones that I want to read um, before or start reading before the end of the year. So those are all the ones that I plan to finish. Uh, on my Goodreads, I've got all the currently reading books on there. So I know I've got the audiobook of uh, the second Game of Thrones book, which I've still not made any progress in. I also started The Hobbit in November, um, a reread of The Hobbit, which I've not done, but I, I pick that one up and put it down um, as and when I feel like it. So I'm really not sure um, if I'm going to get to anything else or there are lots of my, like I say, I am mood reading. I may just end up going into my Kindle and not read <laughs> anything on my TBR other than the three main books that I need to read. So I'll just see how it goes and what happens from there. And well, in January, you'll have a December wrap up. So we'll talk about how I got on then. I hope you've got some really good reading plans for December. If you have, please let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a like, thumbs up and please, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you all again in another video. Bye.